Welcome to the Documentation Special Interest Group meeting, September 25th, 2020. Uh, let's review the agenda and then we'll go through it. So first, report on previous action items. Then, Hacktoberfest preparation as a topic. Google Season of Docs as a topic. Office hours results. Data on contributors and contributions. We'll work through each of those topics and then conclude the meeting. So no, nothing to report on the action item regarding GitHub apps and plugins that use them, and nothing expected for several months, most likely. Uh, not, a, not an issue and not a problem for the project. In terms of Hacktoberfest preparation, October 1 through October 31st is Hacktoberfest sponsored by DigitalOcean. Uh, last year, we had really great results, multiple meetups and good sessions, great contributions. This year, we're expecting a little bit less, but we're trying to, to staff up and be ready for it. So we've, we've created a set of GitHub issues. Thanks to Jonathan Moraes for that. And uh, those issues now need to be triaged so that they can be assigned, some of them anyway, the good first issue label. Make sure what we do by triaging is we allow a second person to review the issue before we put it in front of someone who is a first time contributor to assure that the first time contributor will understand what they should do in order to resolve the issue. Uh, some of the issues are more complicated. We wouldn't want to uh, dissuade or disappoint a first time contributor by giving them an issue that's really out of reach of a first time contributor. Uh, we will likely propose a Hacktoberfest docs meetup during the, to help hold during the month of October so that we can review how people can contribute to docs. Jonathan Marais, uh, Vlad Silverman and I are willing to host that and we'll, we'll highlight some of the progress that's being made, some of the easy ways that there are to contribute to Jenkins through documentation. We've also got a proposed idea on how to do terminology updates and how to allow that to be a Hacktoberfest approach. So what we think we could do is count the occurrences of the, the offending terminology, in this case, master, in the subtrees of Jenkins.io. So there are pieces that may be in one part of the tree, like system administration, or another part like in using, or various places like that, and create GitHub issues for a portion of those subtrees based on a reasonable count of the, the offending word in the subtree. The idea is that we don't want to create a single monster issue that would require someone to make many, many, many changes. Rather, let's create several smaller issues with assigned subsets, and those people can work on the subset, take it up, complete it, submit the pull request, and go on. We don't want the subsets to be a change of a single word in a single file but rather some reasonable size set. And the size of reasonable remains to be seen by doing the, the triage exercise. Uh, after creating those, we'd still like someone else to review the issue to decide if it's a valid good first issue. And if it is, then we'll assign the good first issue label to it. Now, we've only got about six days before we start Hacktoberfest. So, this is a place where we're time limited on what we can do. We hope to get this done within the next few days. Uh, one option uh, item that was suggested was a Hacktoberfest Hall of Fame. We had this kind of Hall of Fame for the Jenkins UI Hackfest, and it was exceptional. It made things work smooth. It helped us highlight who was contributing, how they were contributing, Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have the capacity to create this Hackfest repository this time. Um, we, Jonathan is investigating it, but I'm a little worried that the issue efforts are more crucial than having the repository to track. Next topic, Google Season of Docs. Zinab Abubakar has been approved and is now working on documenting Jenkins and Kubernetes or Jenkins on Kubernetes. And uh, that documentation progress is going forward. She's actually sent out a draft and is inviting people's review of her draft. 
We encourage those who are part of the DOCSIG to help with that review. Anyone is welcome to offer review and feedback. Kristen Whetstone and I have the, the lead on that as mentors, along with Marky Jackson. Uh, very grateful for the, the help all around there. Uh, we're also holding weekly DOCS office hours. We've actually got them scheduled twice weekly. And with that twice weekly schedule, we regularly have four of us that attend the Monday office hours and meeting notes there remind us of how we're making progress. A significant portion of that has been identifying and finding ways to make progress on the wiki conversion. We have quite a number of pages still active in the wiki, even though the wiki has now been read only for almost a full year. And so this wiki conversion process is helping us move content from the wiki and place it into logical and sensible locations with good review on Jenkins.io. We also coordinated the Jenkins 2.249.01 LTS testing in the dog SIG. Special thanks to Vlad for his help with that. Uh, Thursday office hours we found are rarely used. Since they're on demand, that's not a problem. Just be aware that many times uh, we will list them as on demand and when no one appears, we don't hold them. It's not an issue. In terms of our progress and data on contributors and contributions, we now have 121 issues open and 111 closed. That is a significant jump from a month ago, thanks to Jonathan's creation of a number of issues in preparation for Hacktoberfest. Uh, it's, it's not an indication of degraded quality or anything like that. It's just a hint that there's still lots and lots of work to do. Uh, on the time from PR submission to engagement, uh, here on this graph, what you see on the green line is the 85th percentile of time from the initial submission of a pull request to first involvement from a non-author on that pull request. And what you see across this two-year span is that for the last six or seven months, we've consistently kept our, kept our 85th percentile value below one day, but just barely below one day. That's much better than we used to have, but still could use some improvement. Uh, you'll see in the, la in the most recent data period that we actually brought that down to less than 16 hours for the 85th percentile. It's good positive progress. The time from open to merge is not showing as positive a progress because we've got quite a number of pull requests that are languishing in the backlog that were submitted as part of the Hackfest need significant revisions but have not been revised. Uh, this one we really do need to improve. Then contributors for the last month, we are about the same number of contributors and number of merged pull requests this month as we had last month. So we are not, we're not showing growth in terms of our documentation contributions, but we're also not showing a loss. Uh, we, we do have 28 open pull requests and have closed about 30 or 40 in the last month. Thanks everyone for documentation contributions.